So how is the Josh? Hi sir. These are the dialogues from our recent film Uri that reportedly bordered on patriotism, but it was reportedly a film also a war film. So when we are talking about the current issues in India right now, there are two halves that one half belongs to the to a nationalist and another half belongs to an anti-nationalist. And right now in our country, whenever anyone says anything about against the popular opinion, he or she will be branded as a Pakistani and will be assured to uh, like to get book a ticket for Pakistan. Now Vivanesh, we have Vivanesh Parthiban here and Sohei Vaisan for our discussion. Uh, so Vivanesh, when we are talking about this nationalism, this jingoism thing that's going on in our country, this patriotic thing, we uh, very often we see in the news channels that uh, TV anchor is shouting at the panelist and you know like uh, saying that you are an anti-nationalist, you are, you should go to Pakistan and all. So where does where is the fourth pillar of our country is now? Like what is the stance right now and how are they faring? Media is the fourth pillar, as you say. Like uh, we have a responsibility that putting a news should has its should have its fact behind it more than the emotion it carries it should carry the fact it has that's what we have to do to make the news sensible yes. so uh, rather than making it sensible they are selling the news yes. so uh, they make as you say like they are tagging it with the dialogues from the movies like how is the josh yes. so they are adding masala to the event and selling it to the people yes. rather they should say the fact and people create their uh, opinion and you can give your opinion but it should not be biased it should not create bubbles yeah. it can be an agenda rather yeah. but they they are misplaced in it so uh, i feel like media is overdoing something in case of uh, this uh, nationalism in media yes. and this uh, later on processing it into jingoism yes. uh, which is affecting the the credibility of the news yes. Now uh, people are actually losing their faith where, where we have to get the correct news. Mm. So we have to give the credibility and we have the responsibility. Yes. So uh, coming back to uh, Soheb after Vivanesh has actually said uh, about uh, this media thing, how the media is slapping up this jingoism and you know, feeding it to public right now. Uh, the recent after this recent airstrike by the Indian Air Force in Balakot, many of the opposition parties are like actually questioning the authenticity of this attack and demanding numbers like how many terrorists have you killed. In response, the uh, BJP has actually reportedly have said that you are talking like uh, Pakistan and anti-nationalists. So, how do you think is the ruling party using this you know sentiment that is going on in this country in their favor, especially before this upcoming 2019 Lok Sabha election? I think the issue is that uh, air strikes and war activities are not uh, meant for their purpose anymore. They are more as a tool for propagating on who uh, makes the first move or who makes an action. Uh, there are various war generals who have said that in the past war activities were hidden from the general public and media because it was not uh, an activity that is meant to be celebrated but today it is used as a means of celebration and as a means of saying that look maybe we did something that the other party cannot it's become more of a political propaganda yes. activity yes. which is yes. now being misused and sadly the people fall for it they do not consider uh, the uh, resources that are lost or the expenses incurred but they yes. see it more as a game and uh, a competition of so which it's kind of a tool for them a kind of a tool which the people are falling for very sadly. Uh, so like uh, Vivanesh, what do you think that uh, as Soeb correctly pointed out that it's, it is being used as a tool by the uh, uh, by the ruling party right now and people are actually accepting that uh, whatever they are selling. So right now what do you think like is our country allowing us to uh, give our opinions? Are we, do we have the freedom to like express ourselves right now in our country the freedom of speech should I say or of thought even in, in this country yes uh, we are given up space to uh, uh, represent ourselves but they are tagging us like uh, everyone is given a tag like an anti-national like an desh drohi so mm -hmm. they are giving us tag so uh, if someone is going to represent yes. you they are getting tagged and they are being cornered, cornered into a path 
so this is what happens in the whole media so they are saying this ruling party hmm. is actually making this uh, to happen yes, yes so they are creating the environment so uh, as a government they have to give a clean space for this uh, media to perform yes. but they are uh, giving tax rather like um, if you go on with the fa- if you go on with the like our pm or the yes, yes. their party president they they are more concerned with the things which are with the election rather than giving the facts to us so uh, like if you uh, if uh, the last incident which took place uh, a day before when yes. the chief marshal uh, said that mm-hmm. uh, we are just to hit the targets and we are yes, we are yes, not yes. here to give the mm-hmm. uh, the number of uh, we are not to count the bodies here so um, i think the party president has used this number 250 where mm. the source come from mm. so the people are to, uh, to totally like um, like where they would rely on exactly. like so now we are presenting the news mm. to them also mehboob so, mufti i guess was branded as anti nationalist yes, after she questioned modi's statement so so someone questioning the question has to be uh, rationally taken yes. by every party rather than tagging them as some uh, uh, leftist or some yes, uh, yes. thing so with this kind of election coming up right now and this you know this uh, the uh, drum beatings of war going on right now that we want war and we want to avenge what happened to us right now so how what is the role of social media you think so in in this scenario like how is the social media helping or like not helping those who are willing to play this nationalist card and who are who are playing this nationalist card the social media i believe makes a major difference because when the kashmir issue first started we right. did not have social media yeah, so right. it was not as widespread and not as uh, people did not have a lot of opinions on it because they had no role to play mm-hmm. but now with social media people throw in hashtags they throw in their opinions mm-hmm. uh, there are various hashtags like anti national nationalist exactly uh, proud to say jai hind mm-hmm. nation comes first mm-hmm. and uh, it is not just their fault because you know these hashtags only propagate what is spread mm. in the media mm. for example quotes by news persons saying that uh, an eye for an eye is the old system and now we will take two eyes for one eye lost mm-hmm. things like that and mm. uh, adding names of politicians mm. to terrorist groups and mm. sharing that on social media mm. with hashtags that has become a common activity so the freedom of speech on social media is a good thing but it is now being misused to threaten to propagate mm-hmm. and to curse anyone who says anything that is different than your own opinion yeah, exactly and so there is a kind of i guess a uh, social media bullying going on right now that whatever you say against the popular opinion they will just tag their friends and other accomplices and they will just you know like attack you with their full mind and then how social media maybe tracks your data and your activity it becomes easier for such people to yeah. track so other people and also the it cell is kind of playing a role in in all this the it cells of the us kind of major part. role because they track down numbers call people talk to them track addresses and threaten people if they do not like what is being said about them so uh, it has brought people closer and made it easier to go against your enemies or opposers mm-hmm. if you want so like vivanesh when we were talking about this media being involved in this jingoism attitude or they are they are uh, taking up this thing this uh, nationalist anti nationalist they are also tagging people as anti nationalist and you know like kind of propagating that uh, thing uh, like recently you said in the patha uh, pulwama attack after that there is this balakot air strike and they said that some 300 terrorists died without we don't know the source uh, from where do uh, we like you know like we don't know how from where they got those numbers this 300 terrorists died but in every news channel in every major news channel right now also in the regional channels you can see these numbers being highlighted and reflected to appease the a certain section of voters community i should say so do you think that the media right now when you say media and jingoism and media and demo, as a kind of agent of democracy is it acting like an agent of democracy or is it like a bit uh, we can say whoever has the money whoever has the power the media will serve that authority actually uh, media has to serve the people rather than serving the person who has the clout 
so uh, when we go on like uh, representing what is it in the media like we are uh, we are propagating the news which is given to us to propagate an a uh, biased view then if we don't check it uh, along then it goes on like uh, the thing again and again which goes down tax yes. like people also forward it because they think media is a credible source and uh, they don't know uh, what what is it behind like if you see this uh, jingoism going on there is another view on it like elections coming up and uh, this may hugely affect those election mm. and people doesn't know like uh, this is uh, uh, th- they think this is only on nationalism mm. it has uh, th- has uh, um, affects it affects elections too exactly so the jokes right now is pretty much high but as you can see there are different opinions there are some counter opinions right now which which are actually questioning this nationalist thing and they are actually countering this jingoism that's going on and dividing our country right now so what will happen in the future we'll see thank you